Hey there all craft beer lovers. Well, it's time for another beer review. And yes, sorry, Bob, we're going back at it again with Dugges Bryggeri, Dugges Brewery out of Gothenburg in Sweden. Taking a look at their newly released, picked it up today, beer, Juicy Fruity, double IPA. Coming in there at a very lovely 8% ABV, 330ml bottle. Uh, there you go, contains uh, barley malt, oats and wheat. There you go, the usual Douglas style of label. Bit of text, uh, the crush series is all we have learned during our journey towards the perfect double IPA. Hops everywhere and haze all over. Fruity notes in abundance and then some. This is juicy fruity. Taste what it's called, lush. Yeah, that's it guys. The usual golden crown there. As they used to have on their bottles. Uh, let's pop it then, see what we have. Yeah, good smoke. And this beer is going out and it sure does look hazy. Have to say. Now, do guess they are doing some pretty amazing beers overall. Really, really good, dependable company, I have to say. Always a safe bet to buy a Douglas beer, I would say. There we go. Oh yeah, looks good. Right. In view. So what do we have? Fingers worth of a nice white bright head. Good deal of haze to it. Light golden, honey golden color. Good deal of carbonation. Looks very fine. Oh yeah. Looks good. Aroma. It definitely smells of oats. It definitely smells of oats. It smells like they have put a truckload of hops and oats in there. Very hoppy. Very, very hoppy, very oaty. Bit of orange. Yeah, a bit citric on the nose. Yeah. Floral, almost green. Very, very hoppy. Very potent on the nose. Yeah, but it's all in the taste. And that's what matters. So let's dive in, see what we get. Cheers, everybody. Okay. Okay, so... Yeah, as I got on the smell, it's basically reproduced there in the uh, taste and the flavor. Uh, there's a lot of oats in this one. A lot of oats. Uh, definitely a lot of hops crammed into it as well. It's almost, and I say almost, it's almost on the verge of being kind of hop burny a little bit there on the tongue. But it doesn't just, it doesn't really go over that... Uh, uh, kind of limit there or that boundary it doesn't really jump over to that but it's basically on the verge of being a little bit hopper a lot of hops a lot of hops in there uh yeah let's go for another one to see if i can uh, dissect it a little bit more yeah so definitely floral bitterness, verging on being green. As I said, a little bit uh, hot burny almost. Uh, very floral, very, very floral. No, a little bit of uh, maybe orange or citrus in there. And that's basically what I'm getting. It's a juicy. Uh, I don't know if juicy is the right word actually. But it's more on the thicker side, it is, uh, due to all the oats, of course. You've got a lot of oats in there, you can get it on the uh, mouthfeel and on the taste. Uh, but it's not, unfortunately, not one of the best beers I've had from these guys. Because I've had so good beers from these guys. This is not, that is not to say that this is a bad beer, it's a good beer, but it's not one of the best beers I've ever tried from these guys. Uh, so, let's go for a final sip then. Yeah, 
so with that word juicy, juicy and fruity, those two words, I'm basically uh, expecting a little bit of tropical juiciness, tropical fruits, and I'm not getting that. I'm getting a lot of floral bitterness, a lot of hoppiness, uh, almost on the verge of being hop burny on the palate. A little bit harsh, a little bit chalky to be honest as well, but it's not a bad beer. If you like your hoppy beers, you would definitely would like to go for this one. The Dugas Brigerie and their Juicy Fruity Double IPA. 8%. Uh, you don't really notice the alcohol, but you can perhaps almost get a little bit of sensation of it. So it's, yeah, almost on the verge there, just like that hopper sensation on the tongue. For me, not one of their best beers, even though it's a good double IPA. For me, it's a 3.5 out of 5. But if you like Dugas, go for it. If you like your double IPAs, go for it. That was everything I had for today. Thumb me up if you liked the review. Thank you for watching.